bonjour and guten tag and welcome back to Star Citizen University. Today we are in the scenic delight that is Lorville, with some unidentified liquid pushing out of a pipe onto the people below. Lovely place. Let's get out of here. What we're going to be looking at is trade. Um, and specifically there's two different types of trade. Well, I would say that there's two different types of trade at, at this point that we'll be looking at. So, well, we'll be glancing first of all at the small scale trades that you would do if you were maybe the proud owner of a constellation or a cutlass or a freelancer. Um, and then there's some more large scale bulk trading that you would be doing in the likes of a caterpillar or a um, starlifter. So if you were small scale trading, I like to think of this like the old tramp steamers. You'd open your Moby Glass, go into the journal and have a look at the commodity price alerts. And if we have a look down this list, we're going to see that there is, for example, overstock sell price. So this place has got processed food um, that they have too much of, so they're selling it cheap. Everest Harbour, uh, understock, they're paying a wee bit more. There's only a, a difference of 0.36 credits there, so it's not you're not going to get rich with that. But if we look maybe at... Um, so Everest Harbour here again are looking for distilled spirits, um, 5.43, Shady Glen Farms, uh, they're selling them at 4.18, so a bit more of a profit margin there. So you could have a look at this and say, right, I need to get to Shady Glen Farms, probably going to need to Google where that is, uh, load up your um, freelancer or whatever uh, with uh, distilled spirits and fly it up to Everest Harbour and sell it there and then just have another look at the at the journal and repeat the process so that would be the the sort of small scale way of of trading i think there's something a wee bit romantic about you know different um you know having to constantly look and see what's cheap and what you can sell it for and make your money that way uh, it's just a wee bit more interesting perhaps than, than the bulk trading but the bulk trading is where the money is so that's mostly what we're going to be looking at. So I'm just going to call up uh, 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 C2 at the moment. And then we'll jump into the cockpit of that. So here's the C2. Um, yeah, a bit like a Concorde on steroids. Or possibly a Concorde that has a very um, bad diet. And we're just going to jump in. And then we're going to have a look. And the mo one of the most common trade routes, and the one that we will do, for the purposes of this video is from Lorville, where we are, to uh, one of Hurston's Moons aerial and we load up in either of the mining stations on aerial on uh, as much Laranite as we can buy and then fill up on Titanium and then we fly it back to Lorville and sell it. It's quite a quick route so that's basically going to be the plan but once we're sat down here I'm going to start a timer and we're just going to measure how long it takes to get to Aerial and back and sell the stuff. Uh, and then we can work out our earnings per minute and then earnings per minute per SCU. And that will give us a good figure of how profitable trading is at the moment. Okay, timer's running and we're off the ground. Probably I put my flight path in before now, but never mind, we'll get it done. So we're going to aerial. A very short hop. And for reasons that I might explain in a future video, it's actually quite difficult to pirate this route. Thank you. And please visit again. Which is a bonus. Let's get out of the atmosphere, jump to aerial, and then I'll show you where we're going after that. So it's a very short hop to Aerial from Hurston, it's only 40,000 kilometres and we did have to bounce off an OM point so we've lost a wee bit of time doing that. Complete. What are we looking for once we get here? We're looking for HDMS Bezdeck or there's another one, um, if I can just find it, this one down here, uh, Lathen. So either of those two will be fine. Uh, unfortunately they're both on the other side of the moon, which isn't a problem for us to quantum travel to them, but it will be a problem when we try and quantum travel back. However, it's, you know, we're talking just about seconds here, really. But 
when it comes to trading, time is definitely money. So a lot of this also depends on how busy the game is at any given time, because there's a, a finite supply of resources. So if there's lots of people trading, you're really going to struggle to fill up something like a C2. Um, and I don't know what the situation is going to be like right at the moment, but we will find out when we get there. Now because we don't have a marker, we just need to leave the cotton drive on just to show us where we're going here. Quite a dense atmosphere in aerial, so it's it's harder to accelerate but easier to slow down, which is quite useful for uh, landing uh, or you know approaching something like this. See, there is somebody else on the ground there. I can see that is not going to be a good thing for us. It's actually a carrack that's on the ground, so that's unusual. Not all that common to see carracks, um, but especially for trading, it's an unusual choice of a ship. And it has taken up the big pad, which is going to make my life considerably harder. As we try and land a C2 in the small pad. Not the most elegant landing in the world. Actually, I won't refuel at the moment. I'll do that when we get back to Lorville, and then we can add that into the calculations for cost. What we need to quickly do is take a note of how much our current balance is. And it's usually a good idea, especially if there's other players about, to send your uh, elevator back up again. Now what we're looking for is a building with the orange mast, so it's going to be this one. And it'll say storage, like that. So, uh, try and get it so the light's not on the terminal. Um, so we're going to buy, we're going to put in the C2. Yeah, all the Larnite is gone. How much titanium do we have? Okay, so this will be interesting then. Purely titanium, no Larnite. There is more profit to be made with Larnite. Um, but there isn't any because the carrot bought it. So, uh, we can wait for the Larnite, but that's costing us time. Or we can just stock up on titanium, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to load up. Fill the C2 with nothing but titanium. And while we're here, just for a wee bit of potential extra stuff. Um, yeah, nothing doing there, unfortunately. Um, only a helmet, which is a tactical helmet. It's just very little use to anybody at this stage. Anything else? Nope. Gonna plot our course back to Hurston. And yeah, we're gonna have to bounce off one of the OM oh, points again. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. And then back to Hurston. You'll see how quick this journey is. Oh. Takes more time spooling than it actually takes in quantum, I think. Travel complete. And then 
to Lorville. So yeah, in terms of the way that the planets and moons are facing, this has been as bad as it possibly can be, because we're having to fly around absolutely everything. Which is going to add a wee bit onto the time, but yeah, you know. I suppose it would even out if you were to do this for an hour or two. And it is, you know, it is the kind of thing that you can sit and do while you're watching something on another screen or on your TV or whatever. Um, it, it's pretty mindless. Um, the bulk trading, you know, you have to think a wee bit more if you're, uh, if you're kind of doing the tramp steamer route. But there's no real expense to this except for actually having to buy the, you know, the outlay on the cargo. Once you have the ship and you've got a few hundred thousand in the bank, you can just basically do this all day. If you'd ever try to find a spaceport in Lorville, it's directly in front of the archaeology. I don't actually know if this is an archaeology, but that's kind of how I think of it. But the timer doesn't stop when the ship stops. The timer stops when we get to the business district and sell the cargo. Appreciate there are some people that could probably land this thing without going into third person view. But yeah, I don't like to make my own life difficult, so we'll do it the easy way. Go. Engines off. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. So, I'm just going to call that 2,500 in expenses. Well, 2,600, let's be honest. Let's keep it right. I'm wasting time here because I didn't actually replenish. Okay. Alright, so at this point, the sound on the video decided to cut out, so voiceover mode. Um, yeah, this is the business district of Hurston. You can see where the money was spent. It wasn't back where we started this particular video, for sure. Um, there's nothing here that really points the way to the trade and development district, so you just kind of learn by finding your way around. But through here, and on the left-hand side, we're going to get towards the trade and development uh, side of things. On the right hand side is where you get ship weapons and stuff on Hurston. Um, but through here and up to the terminals, you can stop and read the the blurb of the, the Hurston family if you really care for the lore. But anyway, go get the light out of the, the screen, select C2 and sell the titanium and then we're going to check the balance essentially and we're going to see how that compares to how we were before we bought anything and here's the balance that we end with after we sell which gives us a profit of 95,516 on this particular run now as we can see the time is about 20 minutes uh, so we can break that down easy enough work it out as being well about 280 290 um, thousand credits per hour if we break it down by SCU uh, I can calculate this and tell you that we have made 412 credits per SCU of the ship 
uh, per hour. So if you multiply, if you've got a cutlass or a freelancer or something along those lines, work out the SEU uh, and multiply it by 412 and that's how much you would earn per hour doing titanium between Lorville and Ariel. Thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you found it in some way useful. Uh, if you're a new player or if you're an experienced player and you feel that you have information that you can teach people new to the game, please look us up at Star Citizen University. The information will be in the video description. Thanks very much and fly safe. Cheers.